Hi guys, welcome back to Ray Russell, me and Matt talking to you, Lewis. hope you're all doing well and today I bring you a special edition of What's In... What's In The Box? Sorry, I had to make sure no addresses were showing. Woo! And this is a special one from, again, my mother. Uh, now, I don't want one of these just before Christmas, she sent me a Christmas box. Um, and this one, I'm not too sure if it is a Easter themed, I'm not too sure if it is birthday themed, because my birthday is coming up. Um, but yes, this arrived in the post, so I thought I'd open it on camera, because I love a good unboxing video. So I've got my snips, 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 snips. <laughs> Try not to kill myself. Uh, this is a long oblong. Is this oblong? I've never had one like this before. It is a very big flat box, laptop size. Don't fall it. Don't fall that it is a laptop, because I didn't ask for a laptop. Well, to be honest, I didn't ask for anything. But mothers being mothers, they send love in the shape of a box. And uh, how do I open it? Is it a zip 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 up? Still can't open it. Get there. Get in there. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, then please hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. Here we go. It's coming. It's coming. It's co- Oh, I'm still going to look. Ow. See, I've got no nails today, so I can't moan that I'm breaking any. So, oh my god, I've still got to open the other side. Oh, that's already open. So I'm going to do a blindfold thing. If I still, I'm still trying to open it. We're open. Now, now we're in. So, deep, in, deep, deep inside. Dig inside. And I've got a t-shirt. Now, I love the t-shirts my mum sends me. This is a Pep and Gold t-shirt saying Spring Break! Now I'm going to Paris next month, yes next month, and I will be wearing this. Now uh, Pep and Co, they sell it in Poundland and I actually, actually discovered, um, what did I discover? Christmas time when I went to see my family, uh, I discovered the first time, I just, ow. I discovered the for the first time just a Pep and Co shop and I loved it. I was like, oh my god, can you believe the prices? So Pep and Co, this, this was actually three pounds. Is it well? Yeah, three pounds. Can you believe it? Spring break t-shirt. Not a shabby t-shirt either, I like it. And thank you, mother. Now next is some crackers. Uh humbug crackers. The hit song, hum Humming, and, oh, so they're like little crackers I can play with, and they've got like little tricks on sites, you know, like games. They're Christmas crackers, but I love a good cracker. Maybe because I'm crackers. So next we have, what do we have here? We have, ooh, another t-shirt. Oh my god, this is a uh, Jim Beam one. Now, I like, th like these sort of t-shirts. I did have a Jack Daniels one. But it went all like horrible and I had to get rid of it. <coughs> Dying. So I am happy with that. That is a nice t shirt. Hang on, is that two? Yeah, Chim Beam. Yeah, so it's like the vintage side, that side, and then the modern side, that side. Liking it. Nothing on the back. So maybe this could be a fashion one. Then next we have socks. Wait, what is that? Are they like naughty weeds? Ooh. Now, I think it's safe to say that I haven't already got some socks with marijuana on it. What's my mum trying to tell me? So, yes, I have got socks with marijuana on it. So, love a good novelty sock. Thanks, mum. Then we have another t shirt. <gasps> Ooh, Coca Cola t shirt. Ooh, it's not a traditional one. Ooh, this is very unique. It is a great Coca-Cola t-shirt. So, this could be a fashion box of tricks from my mother. So, how many times have I said that? From my mother. So, yes, this is Coca-Cola. 
1886. Did you know when Coca-Cola actually first out, came out, it actually contained, it, contained, it, contained traces of Coke, like the drug? Doesn't anymore because it's just full of sugar. But yes, fact for you. Then we have some sweet tears. Now, Werther's Original, these are my all-time favourite Werther's Original sweets. Now, forget about any other Werther's Original, like the Classic, the Chewy, the Mint, the Caramel, the Chocolate, any of the others. The ones with the cream centre are amazing. If you haven't tried them, go and get them. They always sell them in Poundland, so head down to your Poundland and grab these. They are, they've got like a Caramel centre and they are amazing. Then, we are out adults, matchmakers. Every box my mum sends, they contain matchmakers and a bit of a difference. These are orange Smarties. Normally she sends me pink Smarties, but I can see where she's going with this. Orange equals Halloween. Halloween equals schools. Yes, I love schools. So, thanks mum. Then we have a Easter Chalk Lolly. Oh, I used to love these when I was little. See, Easter egg themes. It's not an Easter egg. Last time. Last year, she actually sent me an Easter egg through the post and it didn't actually arrive in one piece. But come on, who actually like enjoys eating? Just who, who actually thinks that chocolate, Easter chocolate eggs taste different than normal chocolate? I'm um, the only one, it just tastes so much better. Then we have some Thornton's 9 Mini Chocolate Fudge Brownies. I'll be enjoying them tonight when I will be carrying on binge watching Friends because it's on Netflix. Not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor me Netflix, you know where we are. Then, oh, my mum sent me some love hearts. Ah, oh, these are chocolate love hearts. Oh, they're pretty. Look at them. They're not like wrapped or anything. Like, they're not foil wrapped, I don't think, anyway. It's like a, like a candy glaze, I'm guessing. I like them. Aw, thanks, Mum. And then, for... Ooh! I have something that's not in here for me. So, Wendy, if you're watching, there's something for you. I want to know what it is. Well, the weekend I'm going to see Wendy, my friend Wendy. I will be passing this along to her. So, I'm sure she will enjoy it, whatever it is. And then, oh, I can, oh, there's more. What's this? What's this? M mental plaque. What? And, oh, a mantle plaque. <laughs> I read that and I thought it said mental plaque. I was like, why is my mum sending me a mental plaque? Is she trying to tell me something? So what does this say? Families are like fudge, mostly sweet with a few nuts. Now I like that because I love fudge and that sums it up. Don't it sum it up? I had a similar one to these years and years ago, I don't know what happened to it. It had it didn't say the same quotes, but it had like a similar quote. And I've got another chocolate lolly. And then a little note. Have a really good time. Be careful. I love you. Now I'm guessing this is a birthday card because as I say I'm going to Paris. Uh, and my mum's just like scared I'm gonna like have, like I don't know something's probably gonna happen especially with my like past with like my family going on to like different holidays but I can assure, I can probably assure her that nothing's gonna happen uh, apart from me having a good time I'm, I'm so excited I just can't wait to get to Paris um hope Wendy likes chocolates I'm guessing this is chocolates because it says I hope Wendy likes chocolates uh, she won't have to look at yours now. She has her own. Now, my mum says she won't have to uh, uh, look at me opening them because my, my friend Wendy always comments when I'm opening them saying, oh my God, your mum always sends you so much stuff. So, oh, she's going to be so made up with that. I know she's not going to be so made up. I made up for her. <laughs> so, yes, uh, that was my surprise birthday slash Easter slash Halloween slash Christmas box. Wow, she's summed up all holidays in one. What mother can actually do that in one box? Wow, so yeah, mum, I love you. Uh, again, you don't have to send me all of this stuff, but I much appreciate it, and my love belongs to you. And so yes, that comes to an end. I'm gonna sign off there. Thanks for watching, give me a big thumbs up, 
Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you all next time. So it's a goodbye from me, Matt, and a goodbye from Rainbow Soul. Stay sassy.